Hey, Internet, I'm Colorfarney, and welcome to Mount Rugged in Paper Mario. So, this is a very interesting area. We'll get started in just a minute, but first I want to see... Okay, I'm filled out on items. That's not good, but all right. If you want to go to Dry Dry Desert, you'll have to hike over Mount Rugged. Follow the arrows on the signboards so you don't get lost. There are a lot of scary creatures around here. If you're not careful, you'll get hurt in a big way. If things are looking desperate, you'd better run away really fast. At least I would. Yes, you might actually have to run away from uh, enemies in this world. The train's running again! Phew, about time! I can finally go back to Toad Town. You have the train you can take back to Toad Town after you leave the screen, or save and quit. I saw a creature called a Wacka on Mount Rugged. It was extra cute. We'll meet him. So yeah, in this bush there's an egg. Um, for some reason. An egg of unknown origin restores 5 HP. However, I can't carry that, so I'll throw it away. I'll get one on my way back, though. Actually, you know what? I don't really want my dizzy dial. I don't really like those. Also, we should get out Goombario, because we're encountering new enemies in this area. And I said it before in the last video, but I'll say it again. Great music here. Also, another silver block. We can't destroy those until we get the next level hammer. Okay, I had full HP. Ah, no! Confound it! Where could it be? Remember him, folks? Oh, sorry, folks. Very sorry. I was looking for something and not watching where I was going. What now? Aren't you Mario? Why, you are! You're THE Mario! Hello there! The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. Um... I'm normally a letter-perfect postman, but I'm having a bit of trouble with a lost letter. Wouldn't you know it? I dropped it on Mount Rugged, and now I can't find it. If you happen to stumble upon a letter anywhere around here, please tell me, alright? My job could depend on it. I'll be searching this area thoroughly for a while. He's a paracarry, a paratrooper who delivers letters. He's got some problems. It must be nice to have wings. He can fly anywhere. All postmen should have wings. You know, some people say if you help someone in trouble, good things will happen to you. You know, karma. What? You've never heard that? I've heard of that. Also, Mount Rugged, there are slides everywhere. And some of them have better things than coins on them, so make sure you explore to the fullest potential. And first enemy of Mount Rugged. Monty Moles. And man, these buggers are annoying. This is a Monty Mole. Monty Moles are rock-throwing moles. Big-time mischief-makers. They are adorable, though. Max HP 3, attack power 2, defense power 0. Ugh, they have kind of scary-looking faces. They're pretty weak, though. They don't- No, they look adorable. They've just got sunglasses on. Maybe they wear sunglasses because they have really sensitive eyes. Or maybe they're just hip. I think it's- They're just hip. Yeah, these guys are annoying because it can be hard to defend against them. And they have just enough HP in the, uh, at this point, so that way you have to use uh, two party members or a special move to kill them in one hit. Man, they don't give as much EXP as I thought. I mean, star points. It's not EXP. Oh boy. Eh, fun. Do I have offense? No, I don't have offensive items. Darn it. And on top of that, I don't have Quake Hammer just yet, so. Fun. <laughs> Yeah, the timing on this is pretty tight. Especially since, depending on how far away the Monty Moles are, the rocks will come at you at different speeds. So if they're far away, it'll come at you slower, whereas if they're close up, it'll come at you very quickly, so you really need to be on your guard. Goodbye, Monty Moles. Well, they're giving me more EXP than the Goombas, but not by much. Uh, there's an item in there, and it's a sleepy sheep. No thanks. Actually, you know what? 
I'm missing 5 HP. I'll eat an egg. Mario just ate a raw egg. And through here... Waku! I'm Waka! Just another picture-perfect day atop Mount Rugged. Woo! The sunshine, the fresh air, so refreshing, Wackadoo. So this is Waka. Very interesting character here. He's really cute. If you hit him with your hammer, he will actually drop an item called the Wacket's Bump, which is really, really good. Like, so good, it's, like, too good for us right now. I'll get one on my way back to Toad Town when I finish with the second world, but there are a finite amount of them in the game. I think you can hit him ten times, and then he actually dies. So, make sure you keep that in mind. Darn it! There are too many moles. Okay. Change of plan, I'm getting out bomb bet. Alright, he's sticking his ton out at me. That's rude. No! Come on! I got the first strike. <laughs> Take this. Oh, dang. <laughs> Probably should not have used that much FP, but you know what? I can just use refresh if I want. Ooh, thank you. No! Uh-oh, that's not good at all. We could use some power shell. Look how fast that came out at me. Well, this seems like a good time for a refresh. I like using my Star Spirits if I can, because the meter refills, whereas items do not. And time for another Power Shell. I wanted to bomb the Monty Moles to get the first strike, which would insta-kill them. But fate had other ideas. Yeah, okay. Gotta time this right. Oh, you jerk. Seriously. There! Finally! <laughs> Bombet deals so much damage. I love it. <laughs> well, that's cute. They did, like I've said, the designers did a really good job on her uh, character design. And we get a letter. However, he's actually missing three of them. So, I'm not going back till I get all three. Oh boy. This guy. So this is a cleft with two defense, so you actually need to use hammer charge if you want to kill him. This is a cleft. Cleft's pretty strong, so you'd better be careful. Max HP 2, attack power 2, defense power 2. Yeah, you need to use it. And because of their spikes on their head, I can't use power jump. I've got to use smash charge. Their specialty is pretending to be rocks, so watch your step on the mountain. You'll get hurt if you jump on the spikes on their heads. You know, there's some cur there's courage in running away sometimes. I don't run away. Because now... We can kill them. And they give free star points, which is actually a pretty good amount considering it's just one enemy, so... I do recommend taking them out. Whoa! You charged way farther than you were supposed to. Yeah, bomb is also very helpful. Goodbye, clefts. 
Oh, yay. I like how the enemies are dropping me flower points a lot. That's very nice of them. Oh, actually, wait. We can't do anything that way till we get Paracarry. What the heck? Okay, I do not remember the clefts moving like this. Alright, we're gonna go this way. So it doesn't look like you should fall down there, but you should. Because we get another letter. And, alright, avoid the clefts. Yes! <laughs> that was very nice, if I do say so myself. Uh-oh. No, refresh. I should probably eat something. I'll eat spicy soup. And look at that money I got back. <laughs> I tend to hoard my items, and I really don't want to do that in this playthrough, because you run out of space very fast if you do that. And let's be honest, spicy soup just is not that great of an item. Alright, we are done over there. Now we've got to explore the left side of Mount Rugged. Start by falling down there to get a star piece. Love speedy spin. Whee! Oh, big jump. <laughs> yes! I'm getting good at that. I love killing it. Man, I'm getting rich. I'll almost be able to buy the first attack badge if I keep this up. There's the last letter. Now we just have to get up there. I was up on the cliff! Woohoo! Money, money, money! Mushroom! Every little bit helps. Darn it! That Monty Mole is, like, seriously out for my blood. You know what? Yeah, I really can't wait until I can get another BP upgrade. So if you go back here... Oh hey, I didn't even know you could go back there. But there's nothing over there. However, there is something up here. It's the Damage Dodge Badge! If you do the Action Command, it decreases Mario's damage by one. If you are good at the Action Commands, this will be so good, as you will take way less damage. In fact, at this point in the game, you'll hardly take any damage at all. Ow! This is not reflecting well on my performance. I am good at Paper Mario, I am! I'm just trying a lot of risky maneuvers. Because getting the first strike when you have Bombette is just so satisfying. One coin? Yep. Uh-oh, no, no, no. Boom. See what I did there? That was a pun. Hmm. Mario, you might as well focus. Replenish the star meter a bit. Yeah, see? Refilled it. Doesn't refill it all the time. It only restores like a bit of the meter, but in this case it just so happened to fill my meter completely. I've been bad need of a level up. Ooh, honey! Oh, I'm using that. Nope. Honey syrup. Mario just drank straight honey. And it was worth it. You know, these sleepy sheeps, I should probably use them. Another big jump. 
And we get the final letter. Hooray. And Mario slides to safety. Like a pro. Actually, I just realized I probably should have saved the honey syrup because I've got the heart block right here. Alright, Paracarry, I've got your stuff. A letter to Merlin in Toad Town. Oh, that's the one? Aw, thanks for finding it. I'm so relieved. Uh, actually, I'm also looking for two other letters I may have lost. It wasn't my fault, really. If you find them, could you? Thank you so much. And a letter to Goompa Pa. Oh, there we go. That's one of the ones I dropped by accident. Thanks so much, really. Of course, there's still one more letter left. If at all possible, could you please find it too? I'm really scouring this area down here, but so far I haven't had much luck. That's because I found it first. Letter to Colorado. The last letter! You found it! Now I got all the letters I've lost today. Oh, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. I wish there was some way I could repay you for your help. Actually, to be honest, I haven't just lost letters on Mount Rugged. I may have sort of dropped some all over the Mushroom Kingdom while I was flying. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're good at finding letters. Do you think you could keep an eye out during your travels? In return, I would offer you whatever help I can. Nah. I see. May I ask why not? Please, Mario, I'm in a bind. You'd really save my shell. Oh, I understand. I suppose I'm asking too much. You're a big hero with big goals. <sighs> I have to face the music. Of course, if you change your mind, let me know. I'll follow you in a heartbeat. Hello again? You changed your mind? Can I go with you? Yes. Oh, praise the stars! I wasn't looking forward to having to find all those letters by myself. No, sir. I'll do my very best to help. You shall not regret this. Paracarry joined your party. Press down C to have him carry Mario and fly for a short time. He can carry Mario over short gaps that he couldn't jump across by himself. While in battle, he can attack with Skydive or smash into enemies using his Shell Shot ability. Now onward! But, oh, but hey, by the way, if you want to deliver a letter to someone, just speak to that person. I have to be next to you at the time for it to work, though. Keep it in mind, alright? So, yep, our fourth partner is Paracarry, and he is my least favorite partner in the game. He's just not a very good at battling. Unfortunately, you need his ability a lot. Hey, did they respawn? They sure did. Forget that. I know I'm breaking my own rule here. But I've already fought these guys. Yeah, that's what Paracarry's ability is good for! Uh-oh. Nope. 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 Even though Paracarry, I think, is technically better than Cooper, because he can attack airborne enemies as well, his action commands are very hard to time, and, like, most of his moves are just not that good. Shell Shot is pretty good, I must admit, because it deals a lot of damage, but it also sucks your FP like nobody's business. Oh, and I totally glanced over the badge I just got. Quake Hammer, one of my favorites, lets you do a Quake Hammer, uses 2 FP, slightly damages all enemies on the ground or ceiling. Yeah, that's good. So, forget Smash Charge, we want Quake Hammer. Oh. Boom! And if memory serves, that should just insta-kill, yeah. Quake Hammer's really good against clefts, because it just instantly kills all clefts on screen. Alright. Alright, fine. I'll show off Quake Hammer. It's good. Yeah, you gotta love that. And that gives me a level up, yes! BP come to Papa. And the f my first act has been in my next level up, Equip Damage Dodge. <laughs> Seriously, this is going to make the battles, like, way easier. You wanna fly over here? Cause guess what, never bubbled. Huh? You're talking to me? I don't see anyone else here. Alright, you are talking to me. It's been a long while since I first came here from my home in the flower fields, but you're still the very first person to speak a word to me. 
Nobody ever notices me. The few people I actually see just think I'm blooming. I love a good conversation. Here, take this as a thanks. It's a precious seed. Keep it well and remember me. We get the magical seed. Have it planted in the flower garden. Please grow my seed with care. It'll help you one day. Yes, it will. And alright, I guess I'll show off Paracarry in battle. Yeah, so he's got Skydive, where he kicks an enemy. It can be any enemy. Obviously, they can't be an enemy with, like... Uh, basically, he can take damage by doing that if an enemy's, like, super volatile, but we'll get into that later. And then Shell Shot, attack an enemy in the air by bumping into it. So we'll do Skydive. That action command is, like, the shortest span you can do, basically. That didn't make sense. The timing where you have to push A to successfully do the action command is very small for that attack. Which makes it very hard to get uh, good at. I am not talking right today. Hey, come on! Alright, so I left something... Or rather, I had to leave a star piece in this area because we need Paracarry to get it. So we are going back. Mamma Mia! Oh. If at first you don't succeed, why try again if you don't get a lot of star points for it? Fly me over here, Paracarry. There's money and star pieces over here. Oh, hi! You like Quake Hammer? Well, I'm surprised at how fast I got those letters on Mount Rugged. It normally takes me a lot longer than that. Honestly, I'm not concerned about fighting all these enemies that I've already fought before. Especially since they're only giving me one or two star points per guy now. Also, if I get another good badge that requires 1 BP, I'll be unequipping Speedy Spin next. And we can now fly over that gap. And now, optional mini-boss here. It's Buzzard. If Basically, he's going to stop us and ask us a question. If we answer a certain feign, he'll actually let us pass. And you won't have to fight him if you answer any of the other two. Then you're going to get a very tough mini-boss. He's a tough mini-boss. But, if you don't fight him now, you're gonna get hardly any star points for beating him. Whoa, we're pretty high up! Ooh, I feel a little faint. I never told you this before, but I have a fear of heights. Sorry to hear that. Nah, I'm good. Hey there! Hold up a sec, partner! Just a darn minute, I've seen you somewhere. Yep, very similar. You look a lot like this feller Mario who was on Bowser's Wanted poster. Now give, what's your name? Yeah, if you say Luigi, he'll be- I guess you do look like Luigi, I'll let you pass. And if you say Mario, he's like, alright, well it's time to fight. Let's say Princess Peach. What's that, Princess Peach? You take me for a fool, Princess Peach is captured up there in Bowser's castle. You reckon I don't know that? Never mind the fact that I'm a boy with a mustache and I'm not Peach at all. You're asking for it, you big fibber. I'm thinking you're Mario. Prepare for your whooping. Yep. Time to fight Bazaar. Oh man, that was awful. This is Bazaar. He guards Mount Rugged. Wow, that's one big bird. Max HP 40, attack power 3, defense power 0. If you get caught in the clutches of his sharp claws, you'll lose 4 HP. Try to wriggle out of his grip. His special attack is flapping his wings to create wind. This attack damages your party members, too. But he was hatching eggs, wasn't he? Is it possible he, that he's really a she? I wonder. Oh, I never even thought about that. Alright. 
Yep, so now Goombario's out for a turn because he actually took one damage. Blah, blah, blah. Aw, oh, darn it. If that bar felt fell on the OK meter, that would not have dealt any damage. Oh boy, this is going to be a tough fight. Let's try a Sleepy Sheep on him. I don't think he's susceptible to sleep very much, though. Oh, hey! Only two turns. Alright. I'm actually going to change to Paracarry, because he actually is a good party member for this fight. Let's show off Shell Shot, shall we? So you have to hold left and then release it when it winds up at the cursor and deals 5 damage, which is quite a bit. That's the same as Bombette's bomb attack. Alright, now I think it's a good time for Refresh, personally. Because I'm running very low on FP and I was missing quite a bit of HP as well. And let's do another Shell Shot. <laughs> right in the head. See, Buzzer is quite powerful, so you really do need to watch out. Woohoo, yeah. This move is, like, pretty much totally up to chance whether or not <laughs> uh, you'll survive, because sometimes, where no matter how fast you press A, you're gonna get carried off and dropped. Yeah, see, I failed that action command. I failed that action command a lot. Ooh, he threw his feathers at me. That's not very nice. There we go. This again? Yeah, I'm gone. Like, no matter how fast you tap A at that point, like, you're getting carried off. Goodbye, Bazaar. Yeah, and we only even got 15 star points. Yo! I got whooped! Yeah, you did. And now he won't bother us again. Whereas if you said Luigi every time you pass through there, you have to say you're Luigi. <laughs> and we are approaching the desert now. This is the gateway between Mount Rugged and Dry Dry Desert. If we head due east from here, we'll eventually reach the town called Dry Dry Outpost. Alright, I think that's a good spot to end it, because I don't think I'll be skipping a whole lot of battles here, because I showed off a lot of cool stuff. So, thanks for watching on Colorful Arty. If you tune in for the next episode, we'll be going to Dry Dry Desert, which is another interesting part. Have a great day, and God bless.